The Electric Eel, your superior source for a complete line of drain cleaning equipment. Warning. This video is a general overview of the safety procedures and operating instructions for electric eel sewer and drain cleaning equipment. It is not a complete guide to all safety procedures and does not provide the user with instructions for every application. Ask your rental agent for a complete list of safety instructions and specific guidance for your drain problems. Disregarding any of the safety rules could cause serious bodily injury or damage to the equipment. When operating any electric eel machine, always follow these safety instructions. Always wear safety glasses and heavy leather gloves. Do not run the drain cleaning machine motor in reverse. Running the motor in reverse can result in the cable breaking, kinking, or twisting. The reverse motor position is only used to dislodge the cleaning tool if it becomes stuck in the pipeline. Danger. Electric shock resulting in death can occur if there are defects or faults in any wiring supplying power to this machine. To prevent serious bodily injury and to avoid danger from electrical shock, always use a ground fault circuit interrupter with a properly grounded outlet to ensure protection against electric shock. The ground fault circuit interrupter does not guard against electrical shock resulting from defects or faults in any wiring supplying power to this machine or from contact with both circuit conductors. If a ground wire is electrified, electrocution is possible from touching the machine even when the power switch is off. To determine if an outlet is safe, use a UL approved tester. Test the ground fault circuit interrupter before each use. Plug the ground fault circuit interrupter into a 120 volt receptacle. Push the test button. The indicator light should go off and power to the machine will stop. If the light will not reset, do not use the device or machine until the device has been replaced. If the test light does go off, push the reset button to restore power after the test. Do not use the device if the indicator light does not go on when reset. Never use the machine in wet conditions or in standing water. Place the machine cable guide spring at the pipe opening. Never have exposed cable. Never handle the rotating cable or any cable under tension. Always keep clear of rotating cages, drums, shafts, pulleys, belts, or other rotating parts. Do not wear loose clothing or jewelry while operating this machine. Use the foot actuator to operate the machine. Keep good footing and balance at all times. Do not overreach. Only one person should operate the machine, foot actuator, and cable. Always keep all guards, automatic cable feeder, and cable guide spring in place during operation. Always wear rubber-soled, non-slip shoes. The following information is basic operating instructions for the Electric Eel line of auto-feed cable machines and applies to the Electric Eel model RF 100-foot machine, the model Z5AF 75-foot machine, and the model EAF 50-foot machine. The model RF 100-foot machine comes equipped with 3 quarter inch or 5 8 inch cable in 100-foot length and is designed for cleaning 3 to 6 inch diameter drain lines. The 100-foot machine is typically used to clean a main line from the house to the street, including tree roots. The model Z5AF 75-foot machine and EAF 50-foot machine come equipped with 1 half inch cable. The Z5AF is equipped with a 75-foot cable and the EAF is equipped with a 50-foot cable. The 75 and 50-foot machines are designed for cleaning 1 and 1 quarter to 3 inch diameter inside lines including floor drains and laundry tubs. The 75 and 50-foot machines are not designed for cleaning tree roots in a main line. 
The electric eel drain cleaning machine should not be used on a rooftop. Each machine comes supplied with all of the cutting tools you will need for your drain cleaning problem. The Model RF 100 foot machine comes equipped with a flexible leader for negotiating P-traps and should always be used. A spanner wrench for detaching the tools, the spear shaped starting drill tool, the root saw, the grease tool, and the retriever tool. The model Z5 AF 75 foot machine comes equipped with a T-wrench and set screw for attaching the tools, the general purpose bulb shaped tool, the spearhead initial opening tool, the U-shaped grease tool, the spearhead tool without spring for two to three inch lines, and the larger diameter grease tool without spring, which is good for three inch lines. The model EAF 50 foot machine comes equipped with a T-wrench and set screw for attaching the tools, the general purpose bulb shape tool, the spearhead initial opening tool, and the U-shaped grease tool. Warning! Do not run the drain cleaning machine motor in reverse. Running the motor in reverse can result in the cable breaking, kinking, or twisting. The reverse motor position is only used to dislodge the cleaning tool if it becomes stuck in the pipeline. Always run the motor in the forward position for all cleaning operations and when retracting cable into the cage. With the power off, be sure that the machine cable guide spring is securely attached to the automatic feeder. If the guide spring is stored on the model Z5AF 75 foot machine or EAF 50 foot machine, remove it from the storage hook. The 75 and 50 foot machine tools are attached to the cable with a set screw and T wrench. Start with the spearhead initial opening tool. For the 100 foot machine, attach the flexible leader to the cable and then the small spear type cleaning tool to the end of the flexible leader to start the job. Place the machine cable guide spring at the pipe opening. Never have exposed cable. Position the foot actuator for easy operator accessibility. Make sure the forward reverse motor switch is in the forward position. Do not run the motor in reverse. The reverse motor position is only used to dislodge the cleaning tool if it becomes stuck in the pipeline. Always run the motor in the forward position for all cleaning operations and when retracting cable into the cage. Place one heavy leather gloved hand on the cable guide spring to control the cable as it rotates inside and use the other gloved hand to operate the feeder control lever. The operator must keep one heavy leather gloved hand on the cable guide spring at all times during operation. The feeder lever controls the speed at which the cable feeds and the direction of the cable. Moving the feeder control lever to forward increases the feed speed. Moving the feeder control lever to neutral slows the feed speed. In neutral, the cable will spin in place but will not feed. Placing the feeder lever control upward to reverse changes the direction of the cable and retracts it into the cage. To begin operating your electric eel drain cleaning machine, turn the motor switch to forward. Turn the cable tension knob in a clockwise direction until it makes contact with the cable, but do not over tighten. With one gloved hand on the feeder control lever, and once securely holding the cable guide spring, depress the foot actuator and slowly move the feeder control lever from neutral to forward. If the cable does not advance, adjust the cable tension knob in a clockwise direction until the cable advances. Do not over tighten the cable tension knob as it may damage the feeder bearings and the cable. 
Automatically feed cable into the pipeline until the obstruction is met and then slow the feeding speed. When the cable begins to drag or rotation becomes difficult, move the feeder control lever to neutral to allow the tool to cut away at the obstruction. Slowly alternating between forward, neutral, and reverse is often beneficial in clearing an obstruction. Never force the cable or tool into an obstruction. Do not continue to operate the machine when the cleaning tool becomes stuck in an obstruction and never handle any cable under tension. Excess torque on a cable could cause it to fracture. If the sound of the cable in the pipe changes dramatically or you see the cable bucking in the guide spring, stop the motor immediately by releasing the foot switch and allow the tension in the cable to be relieved. Only if a cleaning tool becomes lodged in an obstruction, move the feeder control lever to neutral and place the motor switch in reverse. Allow the machine to rotate for several revolutions until the tool is dislodged. Place the motor switch in forward again and slowly move the feeder lever into the forward position to resume clearing the obstruction. After the pipeline has been open, slowly retrieve the cable by moving the feeder control lever to reverse. Do not put the motor switch in reverse. The motor switch remains in the forward position to back the cable out of the line and feed it into the cage. Use a continuous flow of water to clean the cable, line, and tool as it is retrieved. When the cable and tool are close to the pipe opening, Move the feeder lever control into the neutral position, release the foot actuator, and allow the machine to come to a complete stop. Do not retract the cutter tool into the cable guide spring. Turn the power off and unplug the machine. For the 100 foot machine, remove the tool and leader from the cable. Remove the cable guide spring from the model RF 100 foot machine and store it in the guide spring holder located on the machine handle. For the model Z5 AF and EAF 75 and 50 foot machines, place the guide spring on the storage hook before transporting the machine. Warning. This video is a general overview of the safety procedures and operating instructions for electric eel sewer and drain cleaning equipment. It is not a complete guide to all safety procedures and does not provide the user with instructions for every application. Ask your rental agent for a complete list of safety instructions and specific guidance for your drain problems. Disregarding any of the safety rules could cause serious bodily injury or damage to the equipment. Electric Eel, your superior source for a complete line of drain cleaning equipment.